Well, you've been talking to Irish Water. What do they have to say to you? Well, Colette, people may have heard that many countries in Europe are experiencing drought and that they already have host pipe bans in place. For example, in England, there's one coming in today. But Irish Water says we're not at the stage of banning the use of host pipes just yet. However, it says it does really depend on everyone playing its part. So there's 750 water schemes across the country. Most are really meeting that demand. There was an increase in demand during the July heat wave, but recent rainfall uh, decreased the drought risk. So at the moment, there's 15 different schemes that have shortages and there's restrictions in place on these schemes. So things like tankering and nighttime restrictions, but they're not really impacting customers all that much, Irish Water says. However, it says there are 60 schemes that are also at risk of shortages, so they are monitoring those very, very closely. And it says it is monitoring the whole system at the moment. It says there are some concerns that, of course, if the weather does last into uh, next week and towards the end of the month, they may have to reassess the situation. But it says no outright hose, pan, hose pipe ban just yet, just asking people not to use their hose pipes, if at all possible, and really appealing to the public for some help in this regard. Right across the country, we are ex we are seeing pressures develop as the, as the weather uh, gets hotter. But again, I suppose we are appealing to the public really to help us out in terms of water conservation. And it's only really small little tips that uh, actually can help us. You know, simple things like turning off the tap um, uh, when you're brushing your teeth. A minute less in the shower can save quite a lot, 120 litres in, in, in a week. Uh, reporting leaks as well is another important one. And also, I suppose, using full loads for washing machines, dishwashers and all of that. And if you are using paddling pools which use quite a lot of water we would ask that you recycle the water afterwards now, as well as being asked to conserve water during this period of good weather, people are also being reminded that there is an increased risk of fire. And we've already seen a number of major fires across the country already this summer. So people being reminded that any small spark at all could spark a huge fire, which could destroy an awful lot of woodland and parkland and, of course, damage and kill wildlife as well. So just do be aware of that. Don't be lighting barbecues or any naked flames. Also, this good weather is due to last at least until uh, Sunday evening. That weather advisory is in place until midnight on Sunday. Just be aware of extra risks of heat stress, high UV levels and increased risk of accidents around water as well.